anxiety. This right here is Kaya. You have absolutely met her before. She is still hanging out here with us. She is a nine-year-old Malamute. Very sweet girl. Uh, she definitely enjoys short walks at this time of year. And a nice fan and an air conditioner. She's pretty spoiled here with us. She's got her very own fan right at her kennel, which she absolutely loves. But she's looking for somebody with an AC who would let them hang out on her couch, or her hang out on their couch. <laughs> she is a pretty polite girl. She does walk well on leash. Um, she clearly loves her cookies. She right now weighs in at 112 pounds, so she has lost some weight since you guys originally saw her. She was 126 when she got here originally. Um, and she's just looking for a home with no cats. She doesn't seem to mind the other dogs, um, but eh, she doesn't want anybody overly playful, bouncing all over her at her age. She's a sweet little old lady, and she loves herself a good car ride. Yeah, uh, even though she's kind of a little big for passenger. Yeah, you want more cookies? You're, you're a little demanding, I know. <laughs> But given all that, she would just love a nice soft place to land at this point. If you are looking for a lovable oversized dog, she is definitely your girl. Yeah, you are. So this little friend here is Susie. Susie is a five-year-old pug, and she actually came to us through the Bissell Pet Foundation and National Mill Dog Rescue from a commercial breeding facility. So she hasn't really known much of home life. She doesn't know what a couch is like or what it's like to be snuggled up on a nice little bed. Uh, she doesn't know much about being housebroken, but she is working on it as she's currently housed in our manager's office, getting all the love and attention. She is a super sweet girl, but it's definitely going to take her some time. She sometimes chooses not to be pet. Um, other times she's like, oh wait, I'm starting to realize what this is. And it's really nice. She is absolutely adorable with her little <laughs> short nose. She does have a smaller eye, um, and that was due to some type of injury while at the breeding facility that she was in. Um, but overall, she's just going to need somebody to give her the time and love that she's kind of missed out on all this time. And just the understanding that it's going to take her a little bit, but she's going to give so much back in return overall. Because she is such an adorable, lovable little lady. Especially with her cute little tail. That tail just kills me. Ha, huh, Susie. So next up, we have Barbie. Barbie is a four-year-old toy schnauzer, and she is absolutely the sweetest girl. She actually breaks you at her cage, begging for all of the attention. When she gets out, she's still a little shy, but it's a work in progress for Barbie, because everything is, of course, brand new, coming from a com commercial breeding facility. Um, but we all love Barbie here. She's not really a favorite, everybody's favorite around here, but there's just something special about her. Wherever she lands, she is just going to be the best family member. It's just going to, of course, take her time, like with Susie. Um, no housebreaking, not used to being on leash, not used to a couch or the television playing. Um, Barbie here is going to get it right down and not have much mind to it. She is about four years old, um, and she's got this gorgeous white coat. She is probably going to need some grooming in her future, um, but other than that, she is just the best. So next up, we have Abel, and as you can tell, Abel is really, really nervous to be here today. He doesn't know what's going on. He is a five-year-old Shih Tzu with the prettiest gray color. It's almost like a chocolatey kind of gray. And he is another one from the commercial breeding facility. He spent five years there, so 
Everything is brand new to him. He is the sweetest boy though. Um, he's just gonna take a little bit more time. Somebody quiet and patient to give him the chance at having the best life he can have. Otherwise, he is so sweet. He does love his food and we think that these guys have the best haircuts right now. Um, they must have been just groomed before they came to us because the little ridge of a unibrow. I know it's okay. I, can I show him your haircut? Yeah, there you go. It's just the cutest thing. Um, he is a grooming dog, so he will need to be groomed fairly regularly, but he has the most patience with us, knowing that he's so scared, but he just wants to be loved. Yeah, you're such a patient boy, aren't you, Paul? So next up, we have our friend Allison. Allison is a five-year-old shepherd, and she is probably the bravest friend from our commercial breeding facility. Uh, and she is just so, so sweet. She definitely is a little timid in new situations, but she opens up really quickly and gets used to things a little faster than some of our smaller friends. And she of course looks to her people uh, who she considers safe for anything and everything. Yeah. What you will notice about Allison is that her ears have been tipped. Um, we're not quite sure why a breeding facility does this um, or what really happened to her ears, but it kind of gives her a little bit more of a unique look. But overall, She's just going to need a little bit of patience and a little bit of love. She is pretty clean here in our kennels, um, so we're thinking maybe she might be housebroken, which is really kind of surprising coming from a commercial breeding facility and spending five years there. But she's just amazing otherwise. So last up is Camille, and she is a five-year-old Shih Tzu also from a commercial breeding facility. She is quite a wonderful little lady, although being a little on the timid side, she does make for quite a little lap dog. <laughs> of course, with her adorable little Shih Tzu tail, she loves her butt scratch. She would live to have her butt scratched any day of the week, or just a nice lap to sit on. Yeah, lap snuggles are the best. She's learned since being here that it's not so bad to be held and snuggled and scratched all over. She has the most adorable haircut, but will need to be groomed, of course, being a Shih Tzu. But she does have the most beautiful little striped coat there. I don't, I'm not letting you fall, you're good. I promise, you're all fine. <laughs> you to make yourself comfortable? There's no more cookies on my lap. We got rid of all of those. Overall, all of our commercial breeding facility dogs are quite lovely little companions, big and small, and are all really deserving of a good shot at a really wonderful rest of their lives. And we are absolutely sure that once they hit forever homes, that they're gonna give back so, so much in love and affection for what little we can kind of provide them as families. Yeah. And they're just ready and prepared to go home. wants to be with her people. Almond came all the way from Georgia uh, a little while back and is still waiting for her new family to arrive. She's about one to two. As you can see, loves attention, can get a little spicy sometimes and gets playful, yes, but we love attention. She's been um, doing pretty well with the other cats in the room but may prefer to be an only kitty. Um, she can coexist with them. 
but she may not be besties with somebody. Um, but as you can see, loves people, loves to play, would be great with older children who are a little cat savvy. Almond has been inside since she's been with us here, but in Georgia was found outdoors likely. A lot of their kitties are found as strays that we get in. So she may want to be an indoor outdoor cat, but could definitely be an indoor only kitty as well. I think because of her spunky playfulness, Almond is gonna be a really awesome mouser as well. So if you have um, mice in your life that come around, uh, she might be the girl for you to help you with that little problem. But as you can see, very playful, loving, just loves attention. Um, so she's just waiting for the perfect family to scoop her up. All right, and we've met Tic Tac before. So Tic Tac is still here waiting for his home. Tic Tac is fantastic, as you can see. Loves to be held, loves to be pet, loves to be loved. Tic Tac is about three to five and came also from down south and he is looking for a special home. Tic Tac is on um, a special diet called CD. So he's on dry and wet food, and this helps with uh, crystals in the urine. So he is doing fantastic on this diet, but will need to be indoor only and stay on this. So no other food for Tic Tac, but Tic Tac is um, just a lover, loves food as well. So he um, has no problems eating this diet. He is also FIV positive, but does well with the other kitties, so can coexist with others. As you can see, he's a fluffy man, so we'll need some extra grooming um, and attention in that direction, but an awesome guy, just looking for love. So if you have room in your heart and home for a guy like Tic Tac, you might wanna come and visit. He is, um, like I said, indoor only, great with kids, good with other kitties, um, and just an all around good guy. So you'll have to come visit him and get some um, pets in his fur is so soft and silky so you'll enjoy giving him some love and attention all right oops okay all right it's okay and then we have Susie Susie is not loving being held right now but Susie Susie, we'll just talk about her. You saw her quickly. Susie is a really sweet one to two year old kitty from Georgia. Susie is a wonderful one to two year old kitty from Georgia who is um, a little bit stressed being here in the shelter. So she is over grooming a little bit. So she's really looking for a loving home. She doesn't like to be held as you saw very much, um, but she does love attention and being pet. She can coexist with other kitties as well. Um, hasn't made 100% best friends with anybody yet, uh, but can coexist in the cat room. I think she'd be fine with children who are a little bit older and cat savvy. Uh, she does love to play, but does get a little overexcited at times. So we'll need some older kids just in case of any, uh, <laughs> any scratches or overstimulation that can come from that. Uh, but if you're looking for a kitty, we have some really beautiful Torbies right now, as you just saw Susie and before Almond. And of course, uh, Tic Tac, the beautiful Yet and Here's Almond, still in play mode. So welcome to the green room. Here we have some wonderful kitties we're about to introduce you to. This here oh, is Zuri and her sister, Zara. So these two are available for adoption after being surrendered, unfortunately, after a divorce in the home. Um, so they are very sweet girls. They love attention. Great with other kitties. Great with um, dogs and children as they lived with both in their previous home. As you can see, Zuri loves all the attention. And you, little miss, Yes, very playful girl down here, Zara. As you can see, she has a medium hair, all black with these beautiful yellow eyes. Come over, say hi. Yeah, there you go. Um, so both of these guys would be great in any home, these girls. They have been indoor only, so indoor only homes are preferred for them. They are about one to two years old. Uh, very sweet, as you can see, very loving. I know this gal here, Zara, does not look to be held and picked up and carried around as much as you do, um, but both very sweet, very playful, are gonna be great companions either together, if you'd like to adopt them together, they would love that, or they can go to home separately, preferably with another kitty to play with, because they do like to play and be around others. 
that would be good for them. But as you can see, <laughs> very sweet girls. Hi, honey. And children of any age. They have lived with um, young children as well as older children. So they're going to be the perfect addition to just about any home, aren't you? <laughs> up here. This is his favorite spot in the shelter. This guy came in as a stray kitty. We call him Gustan. He's about two to three years old. Um, we thought he was a feral kitty at first because he was acting very feral, but then after some time he came around and has been loving attention from people and he loves other cats. So if you have a kitty that is just missing a feline friend, you may want to come see Gustan. Gustan is a big purrer. I can feel him purring right now. Um, is good with people, but a little bit shy in the beginning, but he's probably been through a lot being found outside, huh, buddy? So he was an indoor-outdoor cat, clearly, in his previous life, uh, but he's been adjusting fine to being an indoor-only cat. So if you're looking for an indoor-only pal for your kitty, you should definitely come meet Gustan. He's a really sweet man, <laughs> and he loves all people. He may be best with older kids, um, as he does get a little nervous at first meeting, um, but he warms up pretty quickly. And you'll see some other friends in here as well. We took in some kitties from the same home that all somewhat kind of look alike. We got a little lady up this way and a couple more behind us. We are looking um, for uh, some barn homes for some kitties that we have in our care. Um, so if you're looking for a barn cat for an outdoor space like a barn or a big um, you know, outdoor shed or something like that, they are looking for homes that they're able to live outside and be um, more free and away from the humans all the time. Uh, while they're not uh, aggressive, they are, some of them have litter box issues or we do have some that would prefer that type of lifestyle. Um, so if you're interested in our Barn Buddy program, you can visit our website to submit an application. Oh, this little lady is so beautiful, huh? Um, so we have several uh, potential Barn Buddy uh, kitty candidates. So if you're interested, please feel free to reach out. We would be more than happy to go over some of the options there. Um, we have some awesome, awesome house kitties as well. So please come visit us between 12 and 4, Wednesday through Saturday. We will be open to the public for visiting. Uh, we don't do same-day adoptions unless you have a pre-approved application. So please visit our website just www.spfldhumane.org and fill out an application and we will get in touch for you to come visit. We have lots of kitties looking for great homes, don't we? <laughs> oh, what a good girl.